So this would be it for the 2022 edition of the LEGO Star Wars Advent Calendar. It's been a really good one. I think last year's one still is my favourite just because Mandalorian is my favourite show. So to get a kind of snowy Mando and a Christmas Grogu just really made the calendar for me. Although I must admit R2 and the Christmas Jumper, Free Beyond Christmas Jumper and the Santa Gonk are very strong contenders for some of the best things we've got on the calendar so far. There's a great range of small mini builds that you can match up with ships that you can just have on a smaller display level but also within that mix we get some minifigures that you can use for army building or you can throw them with other sets, turrets that can be used by opposite forces that can actually be aligned on corners if you've got base plate or even integrated into bigger models which is a really intelligent thing that they've thought of and it's something I hope they continue to do in the future of calendars. We've got some classic just basic display territory ones, we have some more fun two day uh, crossover kind of advent calendar builds, stuff like that's great, same with the Vader and the Sandcastle. All in all I think there's been some great execution in this calendar and I hope they Kind of look at what's missing from the Star Wars cal calendars and improve on it for next year because to me the biggest things missing are some more of that festive feel you get when you look at a box you know things like the at, -AT and the Santa hat with a beard and moustache and mistletoe lights wrapped around the Ewok trees and the snowman with the bucket on from the sandcastle it makes it look a lot more festive than it is and I think when you look at the Guardians calendar and see how festive that is throughout and how it keeps kind of one consistent theme, I think that's a stronger thing to base it off. Yeah. Uh, and as such, I think if Bad Batch is, is as successful as it hopefully will be next year, I think we could very much get a advent calendar based on the Bad Batch. And I think it'd be a stronger theme for LEGO to explore for just doing the advent calendar because, you know, you can actually theme it around the characters in the show there. Which is what I think made me like the Guardian calendar so much this year. All in all, it's still a great calendar. And like I said, the mini builds are great. Great variety of pieces. And Santa Gonk will forever hold a special place in my heart. Because it's such a brilliant Gong droid. All in all, it's a great calendar. And I just think there's some small improvements that can be made to make next year's calendar even better. Thank you guys for watching. If you've enjoyed the calendar videos and you've been liking them throughout, thank you. It really does mean a lot. If you think there's some improvements that can, that can be made, let me know them in the comments and I'll try my best to integrate them. Uh, I will continue to try to add to the channel this year, but as it is my dissertation year, it may be difficult. But I will try, because I want to keep it going. It's been very nice to see the subscriber count go up again this year. I'm going to keep on going for that and I'm hoping to start doing some giveaways and things as the channel grows. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely holiday, a great Christmas if you celebrate, happy holidays otherwise, and wishing everyone a very happy new year.